Howdy folks, this is Trevor with Idiot's Guide to Life. And today I'm gonna do a video on a portable green screen frame that I made out of PVC pipe in order to help, you know, accommodate the filming that I'm gonna be doing this winter since it's gonna be flipping cold outside and I won't be able to film outside as much. So we're gonna start off with just some parts that you're gonna need, which is gonna be various lengths of half inch schedule 40 PVC, PVC fittings, green screen of course, extra large binder clips, and PVC glue. The micro drag wires are optional. Now the PVC glue is optional, but I believe that it helps hold, hold the frame together a lot better. Since it is only half inch schedule 40, it's really whippy, especially if you make the frame real big, which I kind of think I did on this one, and I might cover that later. But what I'm doing right now is I'm assembling the legs, which are gonna basically be T's. So if you imagine like one of those chalkboards that roll around where it's got the legs that are like, you know, perpendicular to the chalkboard or the whiteboard that rolls around, that's basically what these are. And the leg part that actually goes up into the frame will be about two feet tall. And I actually ended up shorting them down to about a foot because it just was way taller than I needed. So I made everything from top to bottom about six feet high instead of seven feet. And um, what I'm starting to do now is I'm just putting the frame together. I put uh, some elbows on the top and then T-fittings to accommodate a middle section to give a little bit more rigidity to the, the frame and then T's at the bottom to accommodate the legs. And I glued all these fittings except for right where the legs go. That way you can take the legs on and off and move the frame around a little bit easier. And then what you do is you lay your green screen over the frame and the green screen that I use people use tarps they use all kinds of things I actually went to like a fabric store and bought this stretchy spandex and I tried to make it or I tried to find the least shiniest so it had a real matte color so lighting would work a lot better on it when it be as reflective and it would help soften shadows since I don't have the greatest lights. So I stretch the fabric over the frame and then I take the large binder clips and basically clamp them over the, um, the frame of the PVC because they do fit real well. And then as I work my way around, I stretch the fabric to make it as flat as possible with least wrinkles in the middle to help not cast shadows, especially if you have poor lighting. So that's kind of what I did. Uh, here's a shot of it outside of my house to kind of show you how big it is. And here I am looking like a fool in front of a green screen. And I still need a little bit of work. I think the screen itself works really well. I just need to fix my lighting and it'll look a lot better. This is Trevor with Idiot's Guide to Life. Thank you guys. I hope you have a great day. And let me know what you guys think. Comment, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys later.